In this video, we'll, we'll be talking about custom fields and tables. Um, you use Project Web App to create and edit custom fields and tables. Uh, you do not use Project Client in version 2010. Uh, to start this process, scroll down to the server settings link in the quick launch bar. Then, in the under the Enterprise Data section, click on Enterprise Custom Fields and Lookup Tables. In this section, you will see the Enterprise Custom Fields section at the top, and if you scroll down, there is a Lookup Tables for Custom Fields at the bottom. This is where you edit and create those items. Some of these fields may look familiar, such as the RBS field, the resource departments, project departments. Um, you see the fields in various forms across Project Web App. If you look over to the right, you will see a column called Lookup Table. If a field uses a lookup table, it will be listed here. And you can see that the resource departments and the or project departments and resource departments both use the department lookup table. Now by default, the department table is blank, out of the box, because Microsoft doesn't know what your organizational structure is. So uh, when you first set up Project Server 2010, this is one of the steps that you need to take care of if you want to use and utilize the department field. To edit any field or table, simply click on the one you want to edit. In this case, we're going to edit departments. Here in the new create or the edit area of the departments table, uh, you have the ability to change the name, which is not recommended. Um, if you want to change the name, it is probably best to create a new custom table and name it uh, how you wish. Everything else you leave as it is and here we are concerned with populating the departments table. You can see there's one entry here, finance. So let's add a couple more. Basically click in the value field and type the value and hit enter. You can also add a description of the department if you wish. So we'll just add a few here. Now this is fine for a small organization, but you also have the ability to break these down into sub lists. For instance, if you were a global company, you could also add some uh, external offices or locations. So to do that, simply click below the field you wish to add a row and then click the insert row button and we'll insert a couple of rows here so we'll add a couple of countries now to make these subs simply select the row and click the indent arrow, similar to making a subtask in a project schedule. So now we have finance and we've broken it into two different countries. And you can even go further and break that down into uh, a couple of other locations. Oops. So we'll add a couple here. And then we go ahead and indent those as well. And we'll do one more here. And we'll add 
realm. And we'll indent that as well. So now you can see we have the finance department and we have multiple finance departments in United States and Italy. And then we have finance departments in Honolulu and Los Angeles and Rome. When you're done, you can choose how you'd like to sort your table. And this will be how it is viewed when a person is using the actual field. When you're done, go ahead and click the Save button. Now if you go to a, an area that uses this field, for instance, if you go to Manage Users and select a user, scroll down to the Departments area, and you can see Resource Departments, you remember the name of the field from the uh, Creation or Edit and New Creation area. And if you click this button here, you can see that we have the values that we've just added are selectable here. So back on the Enterprise Custom Fields and Tables section, um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the properties and how to create new tables and fields. There are many different reasons why an organization would use a custom field in a table. And in um, this video, we will not go into the details of uh, every single aspect of creating a custom field in a table. We'll go through the different uh, options that you have. So to create a new custom table, simply click on the new custom table button. The form looks exactly like it does uh, when you create a, or as it did when we edited the departments table. In that case, it was a text table, and by default, new creation defaults to a text table. Here you can change this to a cost table, a date, duration, number. When you select, for instance, a date, the input selections change on the page. The page refreshes, and you're presented with a different dialog. Uh, for instance, here, if you want to put dates, you click on the value field, a date selection box comes up, and you can add your values this way. Cost. Numbers. So this is basically setting up the data behind your custom field. It's a very straightforward process, and depending on your needs, uh, you have quite a few options to choose from. And of course, you name it and save. So back in the Enterprise Custom Fields and Tables section, we'll go ahead and take a look at the creating a new custom field. There are many different options depending on your skill level and your needs on how to do this. Um, we won't go through every single thing here, but we'll give you a good idea of where to start. So to start creating a Enterprise Custom Field, click on the New Field button. In the New Field Creation dialog, you have many different options here. First is the name. We'll call this and you can add a description if you choose. Next you want to choose an entity and a type. You have three different entities, project, resource, or task. And the type of field it will be, uh, you have six to choose from, cost, date, duration, flag, number, and text. You can choose uh, whether this field is a single line of text, multiple lines of text. It refers to a lookup table. For instance, if we wanted to use one of the lookup tables that already exist, we could click on lookup table dial uh, radio button, and then you can choose from one of the existing custom tables. And there's the department one that we edited earlier. And there's some other options that you can choose here as well. Uh, finally, you can choose a formula. This is a little bit more advanced. 
but even here Microsoft and Project Web App has made it somewhat easy to create in a formula and it just goes uh, comes about uh, learning the different options that you have functions and we'll go into that a little bit later here's the department table that we were talking about or that we edited earlier if we click on that you can see the department data that we filled in earlier and here is where you choose which how the field will display whether it will be data or graphical indicators if you choose a graphical indicator you can choose some constraints there and an image there's a, a lot of out-of-the-box images that come and some happy fun ones too as well you can choose to show data and values and tooltips and when you're done you always save now let's do a quick example of a custom field using uh, graphic indicators this is a very simple one that you can use but it'll show you uh, give you an example of what you can do with custom fields in a more fun manner let's start by clicking on new field we're gonna go ahead and name this test this is also an example uh, set up by Microsoft so you can also review that at this address and we're gonna make this a resource entity and it's going to be a cost field we're gonna name we're gonna make this into a formula and you see when you click the formula box the editor comes up and the editor makes it relatively easy to choose your fields that you need. We're going to start with standard rate. And we'll pick a function or an operator. And 42. We'll leave the department blank. We'll leave the calculation because this is not a summary uh, field so we, there will be no formulas or roll-ups used we'll roll down and we'll change this to graphic indicators and we'll choose less than or equal to $70 let's use happy faces Red one. If less than or equal to one hundred and twenty dollars, it will be in the yellow. And finally, if it is greater than. one hundred and twenty dollars it will be in the red so now we've created a very simple graphical indicator that we can use on the resource sheet and now to use the custom field that we just created open up project professional client and go to the resource tab and then look at the resource sheet here you can add the new field that we just created you can see that now there's graphical indicators giving us a quick view of uh, the cost difference between the different uh, resources 
And so if you would like to create a new field or table based on an existing one, you can simply select it, choose copy field, give it a name, and click OK. You will then find the field or table in the list. You can go ahead and select it like you would any other, and you can edit it as you see fit. And finally, to delete a, an existing field or table, simply highlight it, and then choose the Delete Field button. Click OK to confirm. And that's it.